cool. That's working. Standing small, a celebration of 30 years of the Lego minifigure. Change the page. Okay. Six of them. Standing small, a celebration of 30 years of the Lego Google. Some duty, I don't know. Nevo Marto. Table of contents. Bookies. Mm hmm. Aha! Who's the first one? An introduction. Telling you all the stuff. And the Spaceman! Woohoo! From 1979. On page 7. We got more. This is kind of cool book. It tells you Star Wars. It tells you the minifigure, how many they have. It says here, Lego minifigures have grown globally, and the ranks have grown to include over 2,500 different characters from around the world and beyond. Here's the Indiana Jones guy from 2008. The team stuff. The origins of the minifigure and the patent numbers and all that. See? You have that? And we got the uh, origins of the minifigure thing. We got the Axie figure, the people with his hands and knees and other things. Then how they made a prototype for the minifigure from 1978 to probably 1977 to be exact. And all the different things you can make. There's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a prototype of a red wo woman. Then you got a doctor from the yeah. And here you got the policeman from 1978 still too. And if you read, it says here, if you go back, did you know many figures with their gripping hands led to develop of many new parts? See the policeman. If you go back to them, and all the different versions of the prototype of the minifigure. You got one with the bendable long arms like the Maxi figure. No arms. Some legs and a torso and feet. You know, to wide open like a duplex, I think, or duplo. You know, one that has bending and you can turn. And you got one, one solid piece and you got the different heads and a lot of clay. And it's like, you know. And they stuck to this. So I'm right here. And then the minifigure, how they built them in this book, shows them minifigure. Here's the best part of it. Did you know each minifigure is actually four bricks high without a hat? That's one and a half inches tall, according to back here. Let's go back. See? It tells you the induction, it tells you right there. Only at one and a half inches tall is the shortest superstar of all time. That's why it's only four and a half bricks tall. So you can figure what probably a quarter inch something around there. Whatever. And they show the torch, the head, how they could print it on if you read here. It says in this book. Many figures are the projection line of the Cone Marking Factory in Burl Bill Holland. Uh, I said Denmark. And that's in one. Many figures go through the painting through a painting machine, having physical features added to their heads. They also have decorations added to the minifigure torso. And here's the minifigure. It says here, each minifigure comes in three parts in Lego sets: head, torso, which includes arms, hands, hips, and legs. Did you know? And the minifigure, um, the mini minifigure. In 2002, the Yoda became 
the first to be di to be at different height in short with shorter legs were introduced since then there have been a number of mini 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 figs including the goblin from harry and potter set short round from any gem set and did you know some more they are over eight trillion possibility mini figs to be made from all the parts that have been produced in the last 30 years and did you know some more the most expensive lego minifig is a 14 karat gold star wars 30th anniversary c3po which is said to be worth at least 200 dollars only two were made there are also sterling silver and bronze versions i like this book because it has a lot of stuff in 1978 saw the arrival of the first lego minifig that the new Lego Town, Lego Castle, and Lego Space themes. These three scenes are still popular today with Lego Pirates, Lego Trains, Lego Vikings, Lego Wild West, and many more. Uh, this is Police Station, 19, 2008. It says you could get that. See? And all the neat stuff they have there. It's got the bears for the thing, and it's got fences, it's got cameras, it's got jail. I wish Lego could make their own jail set, to, you know, separate from the police station. But they probably don't. Lego Town. The first minifigure, a police officer, was part of the Lego Town theme in, in early 1970. Uh, excuse me. Two months later, the first female minifig arrived at a former nurse. Since then, minifigures in this team have included everything from doctors and race car drivers to construction workers and chefs. Adult hair first appeared on a toddler minifig that came with family figures set in 1978. And it shows the dates of each figure, if you look at it carefully. Towns person, 1980. Townsperson 1980, the male. They show Townsperson 1992. And we show the typical Townsperson in a pony hairstyle in different colors 1985. Stripes came in red and white as here, and blue and white. Typical Towny. Townsperson are often issued in sets, all with accessory and all with jobs to do. Many such as doctors, nurses, and firefighters wear clothing appropriate to their job, but others wore a combination of regular clothes, which include stripy tops, spotted pant tops, and many plain colored tops. Then show the different years, 1982, 1982, 84, 85, 89. That's for townspeople. Did you know the standard minifig has over 970 degrees of movement? Did not know this until I read this book. And it says top chefs. The town team has a lot of cooks in its kitchen. It started out with a single male gourmet men, but now there are several additions, including a female chef, a mustache master of the culinary arts. 1985 ice cream man. Male chef, 1990. Female Chef, 1998, and Male Chef, 2003. Between 1985 to 98, the torso all looked the same, but different hat, different bottom. And in 85, the guy's wearing a hat. A baseball cap, and the other two from 90 and 98 are wearing top hat, uh, chef hats. And then here's the police officer. If you look at him. Short arm of the law, it says. Criminals can es can escape the dedicated lawmen. They are experts at taking down baddies in helicopters on or on motorcycles. Th these cops are in business for putting bad guys behind bars. And did you know? Here's another. Forty-one different versions of the original Lego policemen have been appeared in over 104 Lego sets. 104 Lego sets. That's a lot of policemen. Some variation police guys have the word police in front. Blue sun gather for surveillance work. This sheriff lad laid down the law 
to unruly sports fans. Sheriff's badge, and it shows you what the ears are. Sheriff 96, Sheriff 1983, Sheriff 1998. That's what it says there. And turn the page. And you got Lego Town, some more Lego Town people. So you got a townsperson, just blue all over with the red cap. And then you got Townsperson 1978, Waiter 1990, 92 version had a mustache. Also comes with a life vest, Glade Runner Pilot 1983. Then here was a helmet with visor, race car driver, the Octane Man from 1983. And did you know, all the first minifigures had neutral, happy expression. It was only until 1998, 1990. No, 1989, that Lego minifigures have become to change their facial expression. That's how I read it, but you can read it what it says there. Blue six-pointed star of life is the symbol of the emergency medical services. And it's 19... 96, female doctor, female, male doctor, 98, 1988, male doctor, 96, look at this guy, looks like the 1996 doctor, but he's got a helmet with a visor, we call him male EMT doctor, 1999, and so forth, here's the old version of the male doctor from the 81, and even older, from 78, the female doctor, and then so forth. All different years of this in town person. I'm not going to read them all because they get pretty boring after a while. I'll flip it so you can see better. Let's let the camera do its job. See? You got the stunt pilot from 93, 96, 97. And then you got a mail went 82. And it says going postal. In the world of Lego Town, men are, distri are distinguished by a symbol of the French horn on a white background. These red and black minifigures, they were the first letters to town through back in 1982. I still don't know why they have a French horn, man. Must be the guy who probably invented it, probably was like probably from France or something. I don't know. Just guessing. TV Cameron, 1988. And he came from. It says here. This count at the top of the TV tower at a soccer stadium, set 3311. If everyone has that, they probably know what I'm talking about. Sweater with a TV logo of a TV company. Yeah, it says here, sweater with logo of TV company. And it's like construction worker, 79. Airport worker, 88. Coast Guard poet, 96. Trucker, 1983. If it looks kind of, that's just my camera, people. And it's got black belt falcon, typical wear of black helmets with chin strap. And it's called the Bad Boys Falcon came in. Black Falcon came in 1998. And he had Black Falcon 2, 1987. 1987 and 1987, both of them, not 88. Bad Boys. See, Black Falcon sub team was introduced in 1984. When they defeated the knights after several brutal battles, these signature shows roamed the Lake Universe until 1982. Through, though in 2002 they were brought back for a special reissue of the Black Falcon Fortress set. If everyone has it, you probably know what it is. I don't never seen it. And it tells you what the fierce fighter. You can read it if you want. Put pause and all that, people. See, there wasn't, and there's. See, and it shows you what dates are. It's a cool book if you want to know more about minifigures. The Forest Man, it tells you when the Willem Wars came, when Blaze of Luthan. Robin Hood and Man, 1987. These are 1990. Just variations, and here's more. 
That's if you're legal castle fans. Me, I don't kind of am, but I haven't played it in such a long time. Just a book. And there's more here. Lego Castle, the new versions, or newer versions. King Jaco. And there's one that says King Leo someplace up the red desk. Just a cool book of minifigures. If you like. And it shows you the ghost. Boo. And it says you the ghost was the first specialized minifigure. It featured a slip on sleeve that glows in the dark. Most people did. And if you got the minifigure, sometimes when you got the ghost, you didn't get the legs on the ghost. You just got blocks that came down. It, was a, uh, it didn't have a torso. It looked like the... It looked like these guys. Here, I'll show you. The ghost. Where is it now? The ghost. We got them sometimes. It looked like... No. It looked like... Uh, don't... Don't there. No. The ghost looked like this here. Without the bottom. It just built brick. It was built brick at the time. Because I had a couple when I was a kid. Mine didn't come with legs. Skeletons. I had the older skeleton. I think I had the 95 skeleton when he's in. Because mine wasn't long. Mine was short. It was kind of a blocky built at the time. And the skeleton now here is a little bigger. Does more stuff. More fierce looking. You get better stuff now, and you got the wizard, and you got the elf, what are they called? Evil wizard, good wizard, and you got this double axe guy, and you got all, it's all Lego built. If you like the ca Lego castle, that's a pretty good one. Then you got Lego city, people. Here you got a captain's uniform and with the red tie. I don't know how common that is. From the pilot in 2004, then you got passengers for the. Did you know? Here's more did you know stuff. Just wait for my camera to chime in. Lego Townships were released under the Lego under the name Lego City from 2005. Lego Town changed to Lego City in 2005. So, if you got an old set, I think it's Lego Town. Got a new set, it's Lego City. So, if someone's gonna build the old set, call it Lego Town. Because it didn't, a town is smaller than a city, so. You got Passion 1, Passion 2, each. And you got Airport Worker 3, and Airport Worker 4. Did two different guys. You got Cargo Plane Captain, and you got Airport Worker, and you got Airport Worker, another one. And it tells you all the stuff you want to read, hit pause. It's a good book. It tells you all the minifigures. I didn't know some. And if you watch the Lego movie, you've seen it. This is why they look ever that ever guy looks like this guy's here. Because it's from 2005. Or 2007. Or, or 2009. Depending what ever it looked like. Because he's a construction worker. And some of these guys look like could be Criminals. It's all of, here, here, around town. It's all about the hustle and bustle in the Lego City scene. The workers deliver mail, pick up trash, and repair forklifts down at the harbor. These hardworking minifigs always put in a full day's work. And you got the boat captain, harbor worker, sanitary worker, harbor, another harbor worker, heavy hauler driver. He's got his lunch pail, I think. Construction worker one, construction worker two, construction worker four, construction worker six, and you got, got construction worker seven. You got a jack camera, you got construction worker three, construction worker five, and here's another did you know? Did you know Lego, the Lego City minifigures are make the approach of Christmas in Lego in the advent calendar? And here's more police officers. 
We are protected. Two years. Okay. You got policeman one, policeman one, two of them six, two of them five, and you got a policeman three. And you, if you look on the side here, you got EMT workers, air ambulance doctor, EMT doctor. This guy has some kind of special, I don't know what that is. I say like a blood chart and blood transfusion, that guy, on the thing that. Litter, they call it if you watch MASH or old TV shows, they call it litter. He's got specialized things in there. He's got <coughs> thing that holds the IV or called a plasma or blood, whatever you want to call it. And it says here, Law and Order. The police one was the very first Lego minifigure introduced back in 1978. He came with a small squad car to help him catch crooks, but not only cops are armed with cutting edge technology to fight crime. But one thing you see in that police always always uh, police always carrying an old walkie talkie which could be used as cell phone nowadays. Can't use a smartphone because it's just an old cell phone like I say. And this guy here carrying a surveillance camera, sort of I call it, but it's a camera. And you got a guy here carrying a crook but it's a prisoner and policeman. And then you got a policeman with a coffee mug, policeman with a bullhorn, you got a policeman, another policeman with a coffee mug, and you got just another policeman, and you got a policeman directing traffic, look like, and he got one here with a, I don't know, you got a crook, and then you got a, another policeman, and on this side, you got this, Star of Life, it says. I want to pause the video and come back in a minute. Back again. Just my camera. She didn't use the flash, but that's something I have to fix later. The EMT doctors are always on call, ready to respond, and all that. And then you got the doctor fixing up patients. And did you know? Did you know? I'm not going to read it because it's a very long book. But all in all, Here's my short review of it so far. I'll post number two later. From I'll stop at page 28 and I'll come back. It's my first video I'm doing a Lego stuff, a uh, book. So, like, subscribe, or whatever, whatever that saying is. Comment below. Be on YouTube later today. Thanks for watching. Oh, and plus, I might change my name to something else. Don't know yet.